Adam Dekanu is a politician. Please don't mind him. He left Abga to join Biafran agitation. Igbo elder Okure tell Nigerians. Well, um, the person saying this is the former chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga. That's um, Chekwas Okori. Che Chekwas Okori. Um, yeah, Chief Chekwas, in this very content, is saying that Nam Dekanu is a staunch politician. That is pretending that he is a member of Abga fighting for a position before he left to join Radio Biafra and agitation for Biafra freedom. So you have seen that that very area pays him more. That is why he left and forgot about Abga. So I know he said he's saying that he knows what Nam is doing. Let's check the contents. This is Morning News. The former chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga Chekwas Okore, has claimed frustrations by those who hijacked the party made by Namde Kanu. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, left the party to join Radio Biafra. The Igbo leader made it known that under his leadership of the party, Kanu and a former deputy leader of IPOP, Uche Mefo Egemba, and other secessionists were members of APCA. He stated this while speaking at an event in Enugu on Wednesday. According to him, things happened in APCA barely two years after it was founded, just barely a year after it triggered off a revolution in Nigeria. We didn't abandon the ship. We struggled to save the soul of Abga. We struggled for eight years and the Supreme Court up to three times and no court ever ruled that Abga had a new national chairman. In 2012, we founded UPP in the same 2012. All our leaders from diaspora, including Mazi Nambekanu, Uchemefo, Egemba, all of them said they were tired of the political process in Nigeria and they moved on to join Radio PFL. When that UPP couldn't move forward in 2020, we decided to try our hands with the ruling party, the APC. We collapsed our structure into the APC. That was a difficult decision for us to make. But at the end of the day, we weren't too comfortable in APC. Having been in opposition, fighting a particular cause for several decades, it was so easy to change from the characteristics that you have. That is to tell you that our Igbo leaders have been living in lies. I mean, living in lies. Even if Namdekano was a uh, was a one uh, was one time a politician and um, and uh, an Abga supporter, what difference does it make since he have decided to leave the the party and join uh, and join the um, the 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 red of Biafra. What difference does it make? Okay, so that is the reason why they all turn their back on him. Now I see. That is the reason why when there was need for the rights of the egos to be given to them through in the the canoe, they decided to be, to withdraw. So that is the reason why when Nnamdi Kano called on their, on their attention to help save the people of Igbos from the immoral killings, they withdrew. So that is the reason why when Nnamdi Kano need 
that came up with the Eastern Security Network to save and secure the people of the Southeast from the Fulani killings. That is why they withdrew. They never want to support Namdi Kano. It is not Namdi Kano that they are doing. It is the people, their people, their children, their brothers that they are doing. Because Unami Kanu is only trying his own best to save the situation, to save the people from these immoral killings. But they think that it is, they thought that, that it, 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 it was Unami Kanu that they, they were doing. They unknown to them that they were doing themselves. Unknown to them that they were doing themselves. Is that right? It's not right. It's not okay. So, my dear listeners, what this Okorie or whatever he has said right now doesn't make sense. All these are just excuses they are just giving. Look at Ibi Azua has spoken his own. Everybody is just pushing his own his hands off. Defending, trying to defend himself because now the British has now gotten involved. They are now uh, placing blame on our, on our Igbo leaders, which is true. Because if our Igbo leaders have stood strongly by Nam Kano and supported him, support him and Kick against uh, 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 Buari's decision and opinion. This wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't have happened. So, my dear people, let us be realistic here and save ourselves from this headache, from this mess. You understand? From this mess, because to me, all these things are mess. To me, all these things are, are, are useless. That shouldn't be an excuse for not to support an Americano. Eh? We have wicked leaders. We have wicked Igbo leaders. We have wicked governors. All right. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you equally think. And what your take could be. Don't forget, your comments are very, 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 very um, important. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.